We are going to be tackling inside the vanity table drawers. It is extremely messy. I think it's actually messier than last time. It's pretty embarrassing because they look kind of gross. There's makeup spilled inside and today was just like the last straw. Knew I had to get it done so I didn't even set up the proper lighting. We're just using the vlogging camera and we're just gonna tackle it now. If you're new here, I'm Christine. Would really appreciate it if you could please subscribe and be a part of the Chicky Crew. Also, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, clean with me's, decluttering, please make sure you give this video a like. Would really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys don't mind the lighting because this is something that we have about mm, less than two hours to do. Here is an overview of how the vanity table looks right now, which really isn't that bad. It's just more of inside the drawers. It's the first drawer, which looks a lot worse than how it looked a few months ago because it is so messy. I know there's something in here that leaked. Oh, you know what? It's this one. This is the culprit. And here is the second drawer. I think they're pretty much on par with the messiness scale. Take out everything, clean out the inside of the drawer and then I'll show you guys the new organizers that we got just recently from Target. Purchased it yesterday from the Bullseye Playground so keep an eye out for it if you guys um, are interested in them. Look at this, it's all foundation. Dang, it's everywhere. It's even on the powder. These are the drawer dividers that found at the Bullseye Playground at Target yesterday. Adjustable self-organizers. And the main reason why I got these are because of the dividers since we can change the size. Hopefully these fit. Yeah, let's try the other way. Mm, either way, I think it should be okay. I might just put it this way instead since we have foundations and powders and such, clean this IKEA shelf lining so it prevents the organizers from sliding around. And it's also helped save the inside of the drawer from looking really dirty. Who else has the hair shedding problem and just find it all over the place? Start sorting all the foundations. Typically like to keep the foundations on the outer portion. Let's adjust this. We definitely have a lot more foundations. Let's move this over. We can put the primers in here. Some of the other foundations are in the other drawer, but we'll get to that. Here are all the other ones.
our next container is ready. Now let's start with powders. So let's move it over a little bit. Maybe we do have a lot of powders. I think that should be good. We can always adjust it. Fresh wear. Let's fix all of the powders. We didn't clean this. The bronzer. Bronzer, blush from Merit Beauty powder, Laura Mercier powder, and keep that here. There we go, much better. We're gonna set aside the AOA Studio. Wanna use up the Hourglass powder since I've had this one for quite some time. Fenty. Put one to the side, you can put this to the side. This is a primer from Ole Henriksen, the Banana Bright Face Primer. I was just watching Melly Rodriguez here on YouTube and she finally used it up and she was raving about it. So we're gonna put this in the primer drawer. She said it's hydrating and because it does contain vitamin C, it's good to help brighten the skin. been one of my favorites and fallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer because it's sweat proof. Filmed a whole review video on these on the color flush liquid blushes from AOA Studio. These are amazing. All the blushes on the side so that we could see them. And all the tube blushes we can leave it here. I think that's better. Put all the hair ties and such in this container. Gosh, my hair is just everywhere. Let's move the blushes down a little bit. I think that's good. Then we can put this. We have one more, which are for tools. So I think that's good. At least it fits. There's still space in the back, which seems like wasted space. So we can push it all the way back. Then we can add all of the highlighters. Another concealer from Revlon. This one was kind of hiding. It actually looks a lot better. This might kind of bother me because it's sticking up, but it works. At least it's clean. These are the items I'm gonna put away in the Alex drawers, which are in the closet. Blushes, powders, highlighters, concealer, foundation, bronzers and contour. These all need to be recycled because the lashes are not even here. And then these items are gonna go into the other drawer. This one's already dried up from AOA Studio, which will be in an empties video. Let's tackle the other drawer, which is equally messy, if not messier. Don't be here. Let's 
Dang. This is so messy. We found some lashes. I don't think these are usable. Move these down. We have to put all the eyeshadow palettes on this side. I can't even find it because that's just how disorganized everything is. We have a blush and highlighter. It's not supposed to be in here. We can put this in the other drawer. One of my favorite palettes at the moment from Violet Voss, the Sun Kissed uh, Shimmer. Oh, Sun Kissed Summer Palette. These products are pretty old from ColourPop. One of them's a lip scrub and then the other one is, I believe like a, a lip balm but we're gonna recycle them and just keep the containers. Even this lip scrub from Makeup Revolution or Revolution is pretty old, but we're gonna keep the container. Eyeliners, we're gonna put them in this compartment. We have a primer, which is not supposed to be here. Holy Grail Status Bye Bye Foundation from It Cosmetics is not supposed to be on this side. Gel eyeliner I'm using today in the waterline as well as for the wing accent. In the shade Starfish, it's really pretty. Dirty sponge, dirty puff. Lip liners, we can put them in this compartment. An eye primer, which should be, I guess we can put it on this side. Banana powder from Maybelline is supposed to be in the other drawer. Another It Cosmetics Bye Bye foundation, but this shade, neutral medium, is too light for me at the moment. So now that we organize those items, let's push it back so we can save some space. 
And then in the front, let's move all of the lashes because these are the ones that were getting hidden all the way in the back. So at least we can see them. I'll put them here. Oh, these are empty. Okay, recycle these. Unfortunately, it does not have a pair. Recycling those. We can put, Alexa, stop. We can put this one away. That's perfect. And then we can put these lashes in the Alex drawers. These are for recycling. Put this in the empties bag. These need to go. Lumify, which are holy grail. So we can put this with the lip liners. This lash cleaner from Velour is so good. Say if you already applied your lashes and you saw that there's lash glue on it, you just dip some of the lash clean onto the wand, a clean one. It just removes the glue with ease. It separates them. So I really love this stuff. I'm gonna keep this on the side with this. And of course we have Hello Kitty filled with Q-tips. backup of those um, triangle sponges. These are great. My friend Lizzie, what would Lizzie do here on YouTube, recommended these. They're really, really good. Stick them right here on the side. Here's the second drawer all organized. It looks so much better. At least the lashes are front and center. We can see them now. We can see the eyeshadow, all the stuff for the eyes, primers, shadow sticks, brow products, lash glue. Uh, what else? Drops, eye drops, lip liners, mascaras, eyeliners, and then some other random stuff on the side. The other products like these brushes, because we are gonna fix all of those brushes. We're gonna leave these out. I'm gonna have to find a place for this mirror and also need to find a lid for this lip liner. Here are all of the dirty sponges and brushes and mascara guard from AOA Studio, which I love, but it's just so filthy, we need to clean it. Uh, these are the products that we're gonna put in the Alex drawers. CC cream, some shadows, bronzer, some lashes. Also the Cab Cosmetics Contour 2 palette, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the name of it, but we need to kind of just put it away because I kept using it and I wanna try some other products. These are all the other lip products which should go in this container. We're also able to fit the handheld mirrors. I think Hello Kitty, we're going to find a good spot for her. I'm not sure where, but I know I wanna display her because, you know, she deserves some love, right? But this is how the drawer looks. It's so organized. Now we're gonna move on to this area for the brushes and also this corner for the accessories. Let's just move all of this stuff to the side. Oh, here we go, we found it. The cap of one of the lip liners. Let's recap this. Let's first wipe it down and then let's clean it up. Found this display stand at Daiso the other day and I think it's gonna be perfect for this area. Yes, there we go. From Daiso as well. It's actually not a container. I had to tape it because plasticky folder material. Put all the setting sprays in here. I think it looks cute. And then we can just add additional setting sprays on the side. There we go. And then for all of the makeup brushes, I saw my friend Lizzie, what will Lizzie do? Here on YouTube, she had one of these at the Bullseye Playground right now. They have it for $5. Is this gonna work? Yes, that's perfect. All the backup brushes are stored in this makeup bag. So we can pretty much fill it. All of the sponges, these are the ones from Shop Miss A. Put them in here and put the eyelash curler. 
Uh, I don't know. Should we keep it here? We can just put it in the drawer. And then we can just put the other ones, which are more decorative because these are the Hello Kitty ones from Shein. I just don't want to use them because they're so pretty with the sponges. I think that's good. All the dirty brushes are in these two containers, so let's take this out. We need a bigger basket because this is just not working. Let's add the pink kabuki brush to this area because it's pink. Keep all the pink ones together and then this one, we can stuff it here on the side. Oh no, part of the rose glass broke. Okay, let's clean up this area. Oh, the white table side is dirty really easy. Let's move over to the other side of the vanity table. This is the area that you kind of see in the background whenever I film. We're gonna leave the pink pompous from Bohemian Chic. I'm gonna link it down below, but it is very pretty. I'm gonna change up this part. But I think we're going to use these containers. They're from Daiso. I thought they were $2, but when the cashier rang them up, it was $3.25 each, which is kind of pricey in my opinion for this. I'm not really sure if we should place it back here. That looks too spread out. This, this might work if it's stacked. The rings. We are gonna put the sunglasses. Are they gonna fit? No, no way. That's what I had in mind was to put them in here. No. Put some of the jewelry in here. No, we could use this one. Glass is gonna just tip over one day.
prefer it this way because I can always move the sunglasses tray over if I have to get any of the pins because anyway, if I had them in front of these drawers, I would have to move them. But at least now they're in a tray. We have all of these setting sprays, dirty brush glass, better in that spot rather than on the other side. The portion which you'll see if I'm filming with the accessories, jewelry, I think this works perfectly. Still kind of questioning the cloche because I kind of feel like it might tip over, but we want to protect all the small jewelry in there. For now, that works. Here is inside the first drawer, nicely organized. And then in this drawer are the eyeshadow palettes, eye products, eyeshadow sticks, primers, glitter glue, lash glue, brow products, lip products, some miscellaneous items on the side. Curious about the Hello Kitty mirror, we're just gonna have to stick her right here on the side, unfortunately, because there's just no place to put her. So I think she'll be fine there for now until we find another place. I hope you enjoyed cleaning and decluttering with me the vanity table drawers. At least now everything looks so much better, clean, organized. It's not looking like a disaster and it's, um, yeah, at least makeup isn't going all over the place. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Really, really appreciate you guys so very much. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful and just enjoyed cleaning the vanity table with me, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be part of the Chicky crew. Thank you, Chicky, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.